Hello there, welcome to chapter 2 dessa leitura guiada em inglês do livro clássico The Little Prince. Lembrando que é uma edição nivelada para quem realmente está aprendendo, começando a aprender inglês. E para a tradução em português, vai para o meu site inglêsessencial.com para ver a tradução e para ouvir o áudio que tem uma surpresa para você, meu próprio pequeno príncipe, my own little prince. Se quiser pular a introdução, aqui o minuto que vai começar a leitura, mas eu queria falar um pouco sobre esse capítulo. Agora você vai encontrar, conhecer pela primeira vez mesmo, The Little Prince. Ele aparece do nada no meio do deserto e pede um favor ao aviador. E é nesse capítulo, eu acho que a gente... A gente descobre novamente a imaginação da criança e a criatividade da cabeça da criança. E é uma coisa que a gente perde ao se tornar adulto. Que o próprio aviador, no primeiro capítulo, ele fala. Ele tentou mostrar sua criatividade e os adultos... Não, eu não entendo o que você está fazendo. Vai, cresça, aprenda alguma coisa. Então, aqui a gente vê a, a inocência, a, a imaginação, a criatividade... Da, da criança, que é uma parte linda do livro. Um, faz, toma dois segundos, faz um subscribe, isso me ajuda. E se quiser deixar um comentário, eu pessoalmente tento é, responder o mais rápido possível a todos os comentários. E sou eu porque eu deixo o meu nome, Josh. Ah, I'm Josh Cashel. Welcome to English Essencial. Agora chega. Chapter 2, A Sheep. Chapter 2 A Sheep I was not hurt, but I could not start the plane again. I was alone in the desert, and I did not have much water. I had to work on the plane quickly. That night, I slept on the sand. Then the next morning... I was very surprised. I woke up and I heard a voice. Draw me a sheep, please, the voice said. What? I said. I want you to draw me a sheep, said the voice. I opened my eyes and I jumped up. A boy with golden hair stood next to me. I was very surprised to see him, because we were in the middle of a desert in Africa. We were alone in a desert, but he did not look frightened. This is my picture of the boy. It is not very good. I never learned to draw very well. What are you doing here? I said. It was difficult to speak because I was surprised. He laughed quietly, but he did not answer me. He said again, Please, draw me a sheep. I'm good at lots of things, but I'm not very good at drawing, I said. It doesn't matter, he said slowly. You can draw me a sheep. I can't draw sheep, I said, but I can draw this. I drew him my picture number one, the drawing of the snake with the whole elephant inside it. No, no, I don't want a picture of an elephant inside a snake, he said. At home, Everything is very small, and elephants are too big. I need a sheep. Then he said again, Draw me a sheep. Again, I was very surprised, and I drew a sheep. He looked at it, then he said, No, this sheep doesn't look very well. Try again. I drew a second sheep. The boy looked at it and he smiled. 
This isn't a sheep, he said. This is a ram. I can see the horns on its head. Try again. I drew the sheep again, and I did not put any horns on its head. But he did not like that drawing, because the sheep looked too old. I want a young sheep, he said. I want the sheep to live for a long time. I did not want to draw another picture because I wanted to work on my plane. Then I thought hard, and I drew this picture very quickly. The sheep lives in the box, I said to him. He looked closely at the picture. Then I was surprised because he laughed. This is very good, <laughs> he said. Will the sheep eat a lot of grass? Why? I asked. Because at home everything is very small and there isn't much grass, he said. It'll be fine, I said. The sheep is very small. He looked again at the picture and he said, She's small, but she isn't very small, he said. Then he said, Look, she's sleeping. I thought, The boy understands my pictures. Well, I hope you liked chapter 2. Se alguém pudesse desenhar um carro dentro de uma caixa para mim, um Lamborghini, um Porsche, talvez, não sei. Vou usar minha criatividade, vou usar minha cabeça para imaginar o carro que eu quero dentro dessa caixa. É, lembrando que a tradução e o áudio, vai escutar o áudio, fica no, no, no meu site inglêsessencial.com, o link direto vai ficar na, na descrição abaixo. Faz um subscribe. E deixa um comentário para mim. E eu vou tentar responder pessoalmente, ok? I will see you in chapter 3. Thank you for listening. I'll see you next lesson. Bye-bye.